what's up guys? Larry Chen here and Rob Bowler. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. This is Zcon with Rob and Larry. Let's do this, man. Let's walk around and look at cool Z cars. Yeah. How about this one behind you? Okay, let's talk about this one. What? Tell me about the story about this one. Well, so supposedly, and I'm just getting all this hearsay, is that this is the original owner, and she received this car as a graduation present. And it is a 240Z, VIN number 355. Wow, 355. And, and so, so she's early. had it forever. And so check out the little story here. It still ha it, she still has the wheel chucks. So That's cool. a sign of like a real That's Z a owner. real owner, yeah. yeah. I mean, it yeah. looks completely stock. Yeah, it it's is. It's got some D hubcaps there. Uh-huh. So, and these are the rarest. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these yeah. No, it's, it's unbelievable. If you saw that long. on the side of the freeway, you had to go pick it up. Well, I lost one on the side of the freeway, and I was really bummed out, so that made me stop. I ran Ds on butters when I first built butters, and then I, like, grabbed second gear. I was like, Ching! I was like, okay, all right, let's go. Let's go back to Panda Sports. So, but yeah, I have some Ds and I love them. Well, what does the D stand for? Dots, right? I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's why hey, you're called. Great D's. question. Great yeah. question, Larry. So, but they're just awesome and they look great. And seeing oh. these cars in their original form just makes you happy. I'm sure. Oh, there you go. 355. Um, the nice thing about Zcon, this is my first time at Zcon. How many times have you been to Zcon? Oh my gosh, uh, first, like first time probably when it was in Atlanta in the middle of the 90s, when it was in LA, I think in 2004, and then here. Hmm. Well, because for me, this is the cool part about it, right? You could see the cars that Absolutely. are completely stock. You could see the original owner cars. And then you can see wild builds like Mark. We, we featured his all carbon, sequential, fully oh, built, yeah. you know, so there's a full video on that. Make sure you guys check that out. But I spent an hour with him. Oh yeah, and but, you could spend hours on that car, all the innovation, all the design, all the cool stuff. And it's just fun when you get to see somebody that took an idea, worked on that idea, drew it up and then built it. That car is incredible, yeah. incredible. And that's the magic of Datsuns, is they're the blank canvas, you paint the picture. So here we are, 240Z, bone stock, got our D hubcaps on, and then wild and crazy, just a few cars down. Hmm. And that's why I love them. Okay, so let's choose five cars. This is one car. I, is yeah, beautiful. I love this car. Completely and original. Just the paperwork, when the story is there, it just makes it all better. Now here we go. So 240Z, VIN number 355. Oh, what's that gonna get us there? $3,600, 3601, yowza. I'll, I'll take like five. I, let's get our order <laughs> in right now, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, but look, and then just all the cool stuff, the tools that came in your little boxes behind your seat. I love the warranty oh, and yeah. service. And then let's see if the warranty car, oh man, Dotson was doing it, oh. Look at that. That is so cool. That's so cool. And then the top, everything was official. Man, that that's is amazing. magic. Oh man, touch up paint. That's so cool. Yeah, super cool. This thing is amazing. All these little series ones details. So your cool. little gas door piece there. Yeah. I love this it. This flush. Our vents. The vents. Oh yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Oh, what else? Oh yeah, no, no rear defrost. No rear defrost, that's so cool. Sorry for touching your car. Oh, so. All right, so this is one number one. Larry Rob. Okay, that's it. Okay, what's next? Oh man, what else a 12 we talk mile about? car. Oh yeah, yeah, 12 yeah, mile car. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll get rid of the stock cars first. Such a we'll talk about time. the ones that we really like as stock vehicles. This one is it's gotta be the lowest mile Z in the world. It is the lowest mile Z car in the world. The unicorn, 12 miles. Huh. 12. 12. 12. And so this is Huey ZX, 10th anniversary. And they made the red and black cars. I guess you could only get a red and black car as a dealer if you're one of the top 500 dealers in the country. And so this gentleman that had this car was a dealer and a top dealer, and he had this. This was his trophy. This is, hey, I've made it as a Datsun dealer, and I'm gonna keep this, and he did. And then Mike Rogers now owns it uh, out of North Carolina. And so this is just This incredible. is what blows my mind. Like, yeah, incredible. This, I'm sure the tape has fallen off so many times just because, look at this. It's incredible. 13, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, and then look, 
all the magic that we love. Yeah. All, okay. But I love all of the things on here, like method of transportation, okay. truck. It's, it gets better. Wow. So oh, when this thing came over on the, the freight, there's its tag from being shipped here. Look at that tag there. No so way. on the ship, that's the tag. It's never been taken off. Huh. And then we know how many like intricate little bits there are in a 280ZX interior. Let's get inside, man. Okay. This thing is rad. Oh, there's the owner. There's, this is Mike man. Rogers. This is the man. man. Yes. What's up? How are you? Nice to meet you, buddy. What a what an incredible car. What incredible. a beautiful car. Thank you, man. Can we talk about your car? Sure, absolutely. This thing is just Original tires too? Re original air in the tires. Original 41, air. 41 year old air. So you, you haven't added air? I haven't added it. It's, it's uh, 12 the, the miles. Car, the car, the re you know, everybody asks me why this car is, who, who the hell would have a car 41 years and never drive it, 12 miles? Well, the reason was that we, we found out and, and, and we even had some dispute in the Z car community about this. But we found out that the t top 500 dealers in 1980 got the red and black cars. The other 2,500 black and gold cars went to the, all the 1,200 dealers. And so everybody got a black and gold car, but only the top 500 guys got the red and black cars. So Mr. Ellis, who got this car in his Datsun dealership, he basically put it in a, in a warehouse because it was a trophy. It wasn't a car. He had tons of cars he could drive, but he, this is, this was a trophy, just like you put a trophy in a trophy case. And so, so basically, he just it, it sat there. He never would sell it. He never would sell it his whole life. He lived to be 80 years old. And um, uh, his when he finally when he finally died, his son decided they would sell it. And so our good friend Randy. Uh, Randy Jaffe, it was offered to him, and Randy couldn't do it at the time because he was building a house. And, and so he says, "I don't." He says, "I can't do it, but I know, I know." He says, I, "It's sold. Just hang on." I believe everything that you said, except Randy Jaffe passed on a Datsun. <laughs> I don't believe it, <laughs> man. We see this garage. I do not believe that part of the story. Okay, so uh, I've I've seen uh, a couple cars like this. Specifically, I did see one. Toyota 86, A86 from 1986 yep. uh, with, I think it was something similar, like 40 kilometers or 38 kilometers, yeah, right? Yeah, so so then you, you, but but the thing is with that car, that was nothing special. This was something yeah. special. Yeah. So there was a reason to preserve it, right? right? Exactly. What, so what do you do? Do you drain all the fluids or do you, no. uh, you obviously don't drive it, but do you, do you start it? I do, and, and my trailer's right over there. We drove it over here. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, the good part about it was it was kept up by a Nissan dealer. So the radiator had rotted out because of the fluid in it. And so they just went to the parts department, got a new radiator, put it in. And, and, and they put, it, put a new battery in. That's the only thing that's ever been replaced on it. But, you know, I just uh, crank it up, move it around every now and then, just get the fluids uh, moving around. And, and you know, and, and I, put, I think since I've been here, I've probably put three or four tents on it. So I, I'm still on 12 miles. I actually have 15 miles on that sign, but I figured I'd give myself a little sure. bit of Sure, a little buffer room, yeah. Yeah, a little buffer room. Let's go over some of the details that make this thing so magical, because it, we know that the 280ZXs were definitely the Datsun that people drove. I mean, you could come across a 280ZX with 250,000 miles, so we know they're built to stand the test of time, but let's go back in time to where they start. Yeah, so go cool. and show us. Let's get into the underneath the hood. So to protect the cars, when they were coming over on the ship, they used Cosmoline, a chemical over yes. all the, me the metal pieces. Yes. And so look at how beautiful all the Cosmoline is on the valve It's cover. still there. It's still there. Everything's here and every sticker, every component, every piece is here. And then that's the date of the PDI. No the pre -delivery way. Pre-delivery inspection is right there, 42580. How incredible is that? Incredible. Is, Larry, yeah. Here is the form that was in the documentation of the pre-delivery inspection of that date uh, when the car. Now keep in mind that's Dotson's pre-delivery inspection, not the de not the dealers, but Dotson's pre-delivery inspection. So that you know that's the reason they, that we leave, left that yeah. on there because they would go back and take a little little uh, kerosene rag and just wipe that off. You know when they were when they were getting ready to deliver to the. And going close here, this is how amazing this car company was. Look at that. It's just a PDI delivery inspection form. But look at that. It's, it's the, the little, little things, things that, that count. count. Yeah. Like, how cool is that? You know what that what is? The... That's called passion. Like, they were super stoked 
that they were doing this with these yeah. cars. I just oh, look at that. I don't even know Part number what on to the say. EGR. I mean, how oh. does it how does it smell in there? Does yeah. it smell like a brand new car? Brand new car. Brand new 41 year old car. My can, can I sit in it? Can. Yeah. Here. Okay. There's. Wow, it smells like I a know. new car. Look at that. But look at how supple and beautiful this seat is and the steering wheel. Look at the grain on the steering wheel and in the dash. This thing's brand new. Look at that odometer. Yowza. 12. Yeah, and it, 12. And, and 1.8 on, on the trip meter. Yeah. yeah, 12. And then have you ever seen, look at this. Look so, at the it, it, Like all of this is crystal clear too. Yeah. Like the check. You know, like yeah, there's no dust nothing. in it or anything. It's incredible. Look at the radio. The shift. Whoa! Yeah. That radio is crazy. Yeah. And then look at the print here for the mirror, for the power mirrors. Look at how just bright that is because it's brand new. It's a little time machine. And then don't miss any of these details. Look at how your little map light. And then here on the T-tops, giving Even you a little this. deep T-tops. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the T-top top, uh, it still has suction, this. It sure does. Huh? Isn't that cool? Look at, look at this print right there. Wow. That's amazing, man. It's incredible. And I just love how much pride is in the ZX model, right? Yeah. Like, I, they didn't have to put that there, like, hey, what's up? Yeah. It's so cool. Huh. Well, it, we put our maps there because we, we couldn't use our map app then. We had to put our map there. It's just the, 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 it's the little things really like the plastic, none yes. of this is worn out at all. Yeah, you could, and that's what, you know, doing a 280ZX restoration is almost impossible because you really cannot find any of these small components. It's crazy to me because the, I, I always talk about this a lot. I wasn't alive to see this on the showroom floor, you know? I would have loved to. If this didn't exist, I would never be able to see a brand new one. You know, yeah. This yeah. is a brand new it's one, and Time for generations to come, yeah, they will be able to enjoy this. They will be able to see it. You know, we so thank you so just, much for preserving yeah. it and, and also the, sharing and it. The restoration guys will be able to use it as a guide. Shop and take pictures and, and see what see what one looks like brand new. Wow, unbelievable. I don't even know Isn't what to cool? say. Yeah, and then can we open up the hatch, Mike? So. Grab a little handle right there. Yes, sir. Side. Yes, sir. Jeez, the sticker is in such good condition oh, yeah. too. So it was garaged all these years? Yeah, is it yeah. basically Mr. Ellis pulled it in a warehouse, threw a cover over it, and it sat there for 40 years. And they would change the oil and, and change the radiator, obviously, and the water and everything. Here is a letter from, uh, from his son, basically stating that it was one of, uh, actually on here he says it was one of 400 cars 400 cars made, which actually is wrong. He, he didn't know, but it was 500 cars. But he says on here that the car was, the red and black cars were given to the top 500 dealers. And it has, it, and it just it documents it is the 12 original models. Wow. And uh, the cool, cool, interesting thing here, Larry, is you had, you had the, the Goodrich, the Goodyear tires, right? Uh -huh. Here's the limited warranty book for the Goodyear tires, but it had a BF Goodrich saver spare. Huh. Interesting. Here's the, here's the warranty for the Saber Spare. Wow. So, but it's uh, and it's just such a nice like all these panels here. You never see a ZX that the panels look that crisp and nice, but it's new, and the tail light is beautiful. Everything. There's just so many things that I could appreciate on this so Absolutely. much. I mean, yeah. uh, recently I had a chance to feature a, a Toyota Corolla with original tires from 1970. Too, right. but it had the original tire sticker on it still. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow. So, so it's like, so the, uh, the uh, yeah, my, my buddy, Mike, he would essentially trail the car, park it at a show, then put the show tires on <laughs> that, that are, great you know, are vacuum sealed. Yeah. 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 With the tire That's sticker. Cool. It's so cool. Yeah. And then got to get a close that wheel. Yeah. That oh, wheel is just yeah. awesome. And then the, so the Goodyear good. wing foot. Believe. Look at that! Look at the top! Look, just look at that sidewall. It's so, so ahead it's of their so time. Good. That's a, that's a thing now to put letters on. But look at that! Raise letters, Goodyear, Wingfoot. Still has all the little stubbies oh, next yeah. to on it. The tiny little uh, wheel waves. Oh, oh wow! What's up, bro? It's so cool. Just incredible. 
Yeah, also. I don't, I don't even. Brand new. Yeah. Brand new. Time machine. There's so many things about this car. So cool. Yeah, it's incredible. It really is a time yeah, machine. I'm so glad we got to come check it out. Yeah. And I love that Mike is going to be a great caretaker of this car because yeah. he's going to take care of it, keep it in his collection, and then we get to all enjoy it for years to come. Super cool. Car number three is a car that you had your hands on. Just recently, yes. Okay, so what the hell is this? This is the Prima Donna Z32. Wait, what? By. It actually says Prima Donna. That is correct. He actually built this car. This is all hand-laid fiberglass. He made the molds and he built his own wide-body Z32 convertible. And this isn't the first time that Jack has done awesome things. He's made it a career. And so back in the day, and you can look here onto the little piece, he built three prima donna Z cars. And when he built these cars, same thing. He built them out of fiberglass molds and acrylics and wood structures. He did it in the parking lot of his apartment complex. He built a structure to work in and built this Z car. And this Z car actually, I guess, is going to be restored by JDM Legends. They just recently found this car and they got it back and he's going to see if he can get it done. And then this car, I think, lives on the East Coast. See, I, I, I want to see what those cars look like. They are look, they're I'll, wild. Wild. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. This is not really my cup of tea, but that's OK. You know, I don't have to like everything. That you don't have feature. to love yeah. everything. But but I can appreciate the craftsmanship. Absolutely. I can. And I mean, like, honestly, the main thing is I would drive this if it weren't for the wheels, but you know, to each his own, whatever, it's, it's, it's his car, but also you, you did a lot of work on this we car. Did. You we did, just, the, you we did just the motor did swap the, on We this just car. did the motor swap in it. Yep. The, the Datsun Nissan guy did an LS swap into a Z32. And there's this amazing company called LOJ Innovations and they're uh, on the East Coast. And this gentleman makes a kit that bolts an LS engine into a Z32 into a 350Z, a 370Z. And, you know, I work in the aftermarket every day and support sometimes you have to kind of pull for it. This guy answered every one of my questions because I'm not a GM guy, held my hand and this thing just went together just beautifully, easily. It was okay. awesome. How is it that I don't get it? Is it the VG that bad of a motor? I mean, I just the VG was so, the VG, it, but this is a non-turbo VG30, and so for this car, you know, that car there with 300 horsepower, a twin-turbo Z32, balance awesome. The non-turbo Z32s, in my opinion, are underpowered. Well, Jack has a Corvette, and he asked me to bridge two things together, his love for that GM performance and his artwork that he made. Uh, okay, okay, so... What blows my mind is how nice the LS3 fits in here. The VG is shoehorned in it's there, shoehorned. and, and then, it doesn't yeah. even fit yeah. in its own car. I know. And then look, you can actually uh, look at this. How is that even? I know. Thing? It's crazy. You can and actually put your hand in between in exactly the engine and the chassis. Here's the other thing: air conditioning, power steering. I mean, this thing is a cruiser. It's like being in an American car with a Japanese body. It's too bad that the turbo never came with the convertible, right? I don't know if the convertible could have, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it would have been a, a good success, you know? Uh, I don't know if you've ever driven a Z32 convertible, but Jack's changes to it make it pretty drivable, but yeah. one stock is, you know, you can't love everything, Larry. I'm not crazy about convertible Z32s, but I love this one. Yeah. Well. I mean, and let's that, look at the back. Hold on a second. Okay. Because I like ladies with big hips. Yeah. Look at that. Z look out. At the, just, but look at how big the back of this car is. And can you tell that somebody home brewed all these panels? I mean, this guy is an artist. He's a craftsman. He's incredible. He's got passion. His wife, Yolanda, they're just partners in crime and they do cool stuff. And BB Custom Designs. They've been making the swag for Z Car Garage since the day we opened. So I love them and I love being a part of this project. This is just so crazy. Yeah. I, uh, oh, okay. You, hold on. If he wanted it. to build a showstopper, he did because I'm speechless. Yeah, it's really nice. Just great design. And then something I'm pretty proud of. So we made the Nissan Shifter work with the American transmission. So it has a, a GM 
uh, 4L60E overdrive transmission in it, and we actually got the two to work together. No and way. so when you look into it, it just looks like a Z32 convertible until you hear it. So super, super nice. Wait, uh, all the gauges work. All the stock gauges work. All the stock gauges work. And that's, you know, the magic of the LOJ guy. I mean, incredible. Incre like, as far as something where somebody sells you conversion, he has it all figured out and the support was there and it really went together easily. Yeah, it's an LS powered Z32. Incredible. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, and you know I, what? The, the, I would love to see, and I, I'm, I'm guessing you probably, hey, maybe it even exists in this parking lot, but um, just a straight up LS3 swap, but you can't tell from the outside. Where can you tell, uh, where can you tell, if I put the hood down, tell me what gives it away. There's well, nothing. Well, no, nothing gives yeah. it away, yeah. but I'm saying this is very outrageous in every other way. Oh, it's true. I'm saying like a stock body one. Yeah. Well, I've seen on the internet, I've seen 350Zs that look like stock 350Zs and they have LS engines in them. Mm. But Pretty cool. that's not as, I, I feel like that's impressive, not as impressive as shoehorning it in a, agreed. In a Z32. Yeah, though. agreed. Well, yeah. And the impressive part of this car for me, I enjoyed doing the engine swap because it's not something we do all the time, especially GM since we're Datsun guys, Nissan guys. But this car, the story, the man, and what he built, that was my draw to it. So I love that rear quarter. That rear quarter is, it's all business. It's pretty crazy. And it crazy. flows beautifully and you know, I'll, like the whole thing. Insane. I'm gonna put the hood down. I really like what he did with the graphic to kind of blend it all in. Jeez, look at this thing. Oh, so it dynoed on your dyno. It sure did. Which was uh, the same dyno, uh, dyno that, that dynoed my on. car. Yeah. That's right. So what yeah. did this dyno have? 378 to the wheels and 390 foot-pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Way better awesome. than stock, that's for sure. Oh, man. And just to see all his little details, but I love that graphic that rides up the fender. I love this sticker that he printed out. Yeah. So you don't yeah, get bottom. a front license plate exactly. ticket. But I, I don't think the cop's going to pull you over in this thing if... If you're driving it to ask about your front plate, he probably yeah. wants to know something else. Yeah. <laughs> so. Car number four. It's the official pace car, number That's zero. Right. That's right. It's actually an O for Ontario Motor Speedway. Oh. And so uh, Nissan built three Ontario Motor Speedway pace cars. My GTU car is one of the three. And so Nissan, to celebrate that pace car, they built 50 tribute pace cars. And so they painted them, put the graphic on them, and then I'll send you some images of all 50 of them on Ontario Motor Speedway. So Linda Williams has been coming to the Z car garage for a very long time. She has a beautiful low miles 280Z. These, this family that had owned this car since back in the day contacted her and she hit me up and she's like, wow, like I found this car, what do you think? I was like, well, I mean, you should buy it. And then it was just crazy that the tribute of my car was in my shop and we were getting to do all this work to it. So this car has 45,000 original miles on it. Uh, the family had parked it, I think about 20, 25 years ago. And then we just spent time making it mechanically sound. So we did the brake system, the suspension, cleaned up the engine, did a little tune up on it, replaced the carburetors, the header. And then we did the graphic uh, right before the show. I just thought it would be super cool to put all of the decals of the original Ontario okay, tribute so cars. Okay, so I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. You mean to tell me this came from the factory this That way? is correct. Yeah, Wait, Nissan, so Nissan built 50 tribute cars of the Pace car. So it was sold as a brand new car from the dealership? It was sold as a brand new car from the dealership. And what do you do with it? You just drive it on the street just as a normal and car? Fun. Wait, yeah. so you're telling me, oh, so this is a decal though. Yes, correct. Yeah, so, we put, so this car didn't have the decals on it when she found it, and we did the decals when we it, put it It just together. had the two-tone. That's correct, yeah, it just had the BRE style paint scheme. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, but and I mean, it, it, it's Did a, it it's say dots in here? It sure did. Yeah, that's painted. So this, this is paint that's from correct. the factory? Yes, correct. Huh. I had no idea. You learn yeah, something really cool. new every yeah. day. And it's really like a survivor car. Like, it's really, really nice and... I mean, she's going to drive it and enjoy it because that's what you do with a Datsun. Isn't it nice? What the heck? Isn't that cool? I didn't even realize this was a thing. Yeah. Huh. 
Yeah. Is this the only pace car that Nissan That's the did? only one I've ever, it's one, the only tribute car I've ever seen. And then, you know, my car, uh, when I got it, it was disassembled as a race car, so I never got to see it in the livery. But my car went from uh, Ontario Motor Speedway to Sears Point to then Joel buys it and then races it. So, but it's just so cool that they were in the same building. But I don't get why, why would you do that to this car? Why wouldn't they have changed, uh, taken a, just a regular old car to make it into that GTU car? Why would they have made it? Well, so my GTU car just has always been, my car's all, never was sold to the public. My car oh. was owned by Nissan uh, from day one. And then when it went to the Bondurant school, Joel bought it from Nissan for a dollar. It was a dollar car. Huh. Yeah, but this car is, they did 50 of those tribute cars. And then if we look, I think she has some documentation in the back. But I wonder how many of these are left that exist. I've never seen one and I'm around Dotson's every day. So this I don't This is the know. only one that you've seen. I've ever seen, yeah. And so huh. check this. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. It is awesome. And the huh. blue plates, and I just love it because Linda is gonna share this car with people. Like people are gonna get to see this. So, yeah, really nice survivor car. Wow. And then come look at this. The red interior, I mean, it's just, you know, they were just kind of putting them, they're just spraying them. Huh. Well, I do. You, I wonder if this sold for more than a regular car. I don't car. know the answer to that, because I don't know a lot about them, because the first that I was actually able to be around the tribute car is when Linda said, hey, these people have, you know, told me this car's for sale, I'm thinking about buying it. And I'm like, all right, let's do it. Huh. And it's pretty cool that it's unrestored paint too. I love it. I mean, that's, isn't that the best? I mean, you know, that's you and I, that's, that's what appeals to us are the survivor cars, the cars that don't have to be concourse winners. It makes me wonder if this was just a white car and they just put the blue no on question. it. Oh, it oh, no question. Oh, it was, okay. Yeah, uh. it was a white with red interior car and then they pulled it out and did the damn thing and they didn't honestly they didn't mask it very well either that's the crazy that, thing a crazy thing yeah huh yeah i mean like you look at it and it's like no but it's I, just so cool that i can't believe they did this yeah, from the factory yeah. what the heck yeah feel that. i mean they masked like this yeah, part pretty yeah. good but this part is not masked very good at all yeah. but it's I mean, that's kind of the charm of it, right? It's really cool. And just the fact that Nissan was spending money to do things like, hey, we got this uh, pace car, let's build 50 tributes. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, I love it. And I love that she's gonna drive it because I don't want people to put these cars away. Now, you know, Mike Rogers, you know, 12 mile car, that's a car you, you don't drive. It's got 12 miles on it. It's a time machine, a time capsule. But this is a survivor car that is going to get a new life. And then a story that you didn't even know, that I didn't know too much about, now other people are going to know. Oh, I was also saying the other cool thing is uh, Linda is the president of the Northern California uh, Z Car Owners Club, Zonk. 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 All right, let's find our last car. Let's do it. You ready? I'm in. Let's talk about this. What's going on? This is not a car. I know, but it's this, car This parts. will be. Man, I just, Troy Ernest just told me about your stuff, man. This is awesome. Yeah. Hey there. Hi. Hi. Troy? I know Troy. Yeah. We do a lot of, not a lot, but we do some business. Yeah, it's super cool, but he said really nice things about your product. He said your floor pans are amazing and all your components really fit well. I think 510 floor pans. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. You're like welcome. we're, we're just, you know, we need this for our car. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, now yeah. you're going to be on the video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell us, uh, tell us what you do. Tell us. Uh, we manufacture um, all basically all your reproduction machine of the 240s, 280s, 510s. We're moving into the Toyota world. Okay, with the fastbacks, the 60, uh, 77, 76 fastbacks, uh, early Corolla stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna encompass the whole vintage Japanese line, and we're actually working on some uh, skylines out of Japan oh. to do rockers for the 32s, nice. the 33s. So yeah, we'll be around for a long time. We'll be around for a long time. Really cool. Yeah. Thanks for sharing and thanks for doing what you do. Yeah. So if you need stuff, we go. I'd like your car, your 240. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely gonna hit you up. 
Yeah. I'm definitely gonna hit you up. So, yeah, we'll hey, take care of you. these guys. Yeah. So maybe we, we don't want we don't want any nobody to lie about ourselves. What yeah. we want is the honest feedback that allows us Man, to Mike make stuff better. Right. We're all, we're small Where's enough. We're a small yeah. enough ship where we can turn it really quick. So nice. if there's a problem with any yeah. of the tooling, we can actually put a stop on the tooling, make modifications. We have a full-blown reverse engineer shop. We do white light scanning, laser scanning. We have a full-blown CNC shop in-house. So we manufacture all our tooling. There's nothing subcontracted to China, India, nowhere. We do everything in Where are you guys located? We're the, the main factory is in Bogota, Colombia, and we're out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Ah, oh, yes. okay. I saw you last two years ago at JCCS. We go yeah. to JCCS. Last time we were there, but we only had a few parts. Yeah. Every year that we show up, we're going to have more and more parts. And we're actually a sponsor of JCCS. Now. But this stuff is actually really good price-wise, too. Dude, look at this. Like, look at this, this is... I had a guy argue with me. I go, dude, this, this corner... It's $110 and it's correct and it's got the recess for the other panel to weld, to weld down there. Where are you going to find this for $110? You're not, you're not. It's incredible. You know? But, but like, not only yeah. that, like, this is $110. Yeah. This floor pan is $276. And it comes with the reinforcements. The Did you see they're not you know? bead rolled? They're actually they're stamped. Not, they're stamped. There's two <clears throat> made for this stuff. They're die stamped. They're yeah. Not, they're not some guy beating on a, you know, with a hammer or whatnot. All this stuff is die stamped. It, it's crazy because it's I mean the, the, that way you don't have to put as much bondo on these sell cars. This, dude? They sell this with straight yeah. and it's straight and it's got two holes in it. It's like two dollars worth of metal they're selling. You know, this stuff is die stamped. All of it is look, look at all the stampings on it. You know it's beautiful. I mean? And it, this piece is you know 160 bucks. I mean you'll never make that by hand. You can't make yeah. that. We've been at it for 20 years on the Volkswagen world. So you know, we've been at this for a long, long time. We have 65 employees down in Columbia. You know, we have stampers, we got engineers, we got reverse guys who do reverse engineering. I mean really, really high-end stuff. We do robotic cutting. We have a seven-axis robotic, you know, robot cutting with a laser, etc., etc. So, you know, this stuff is... It's meant stuff. to be, because I just talked to Troy about this, like, a couple of days ago. Yeah. So, it's yeah. so awesome. We're going to get out to Troy's, and... Uh, cool. We want to do... I, I want to... I want to pitch to him. I want him to do a project for me. Cool. Using all my metal. Oh, I love it. Love hey, so we got to hit him up to, uh, for, for our... Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I was going to... You're my next I, car, I, your next well, car. I was going to say, is like, I was going to grab a quarter and make a run for it. <laughs> I was just going to grab that quarter and see if they could you just catch me. Run, just I just... Uh, I was going to make a run for it, so. What if I cried when Larry told me I could go with him to Times Square? Something touched me deep inside. All right. All right. This is it. This is it. This is it. Make no mistake where you are. All right. All right. We're here. Fifth car. Of course, we're going to choose this car as a last Absolutely. car. Absolutely. Right? The week started. And where the weekends, yeah. the new Z. So what do you think about this? What do you think about it? You, we, you, this, okay, so someone like yourself, you have a business based off of not a brand, but a single car. Single car. And this is the new generation of said car. I'm super pumped about it. And it's long overdue. The 370Z is a fantastic car but this is the next Z and I'm super pumped for it. And I love that we're bringing back things that we fell in love with in the 90s, turbos. Turbos, yeah. V6s and Z cars, they go hand in hand together. So it's tell, got, tell me a, a couple things that you just kind of right off the bat notice about this car. Like I know there's a lot of cool Easter eggs that we can probably show some of the guys. Like for example, where it says since 1969. That, I, I would say that's probably one of my favorites, yeah. you know, when we saw that. Yeah, okay. And you All know, right. we spoke about this before and I just, how cool is it, right? I mean, Z cars changed the automotive industry and then you just let everybody know, 1969. Yeah. That 1969. I loved that. I just thought it was a really, really nice touch. Well, this is a kind of a funny thing because this was on the Proto and you know, with prototype cars, a lot of times, things just don't make it Absolutely. to the next yeah. step, right? Things don't actually make it to production. But as we see, this is a production version. And it's got it. And, yeah. I, and I love the tail light. I love the whole back of the car. And like we were talking about in New York on Tuesday, it doesn't have a bad angle. 
Like when you take pictures of it or when you see it in person, it doesn't have any bad parts. So the rear definitely reminds me of the 300ZX, right? The, the Z32. Absolutely. But, which I absolutely love. I think that's amazing. Um, but the front, of course, looks more like a Z. There's so many, or looks more like a 240. There's uh, this, which is kind of redoing, I guess, the drip rail kind of look, yeah. right? That katana. They're trying, yeah, they're trying yeah. to really capture there's that still, silhouette. There's still a badge here. Absolutely. Um, the front, it seems like, is what most people have to complain about. I don't, uh, I'm not getting it. I know that there'll be lots of interpretations in the aftermarket, so you'll get your chance at getting the front end of the Z car that you like, but I don't have any complaints. I, I just, I think this car, in an era where sports cars is not really what everybody's focusing on, for Nissan to be bold enough and just come out and say, hey, what's happening? Yeah, Z, the next Z. Well, it's interesting because this is something that I kind of touched on a little bit with Chris Forsberg when we were talking about the Proto, but this, the front end of the 240Z, it actually looks kind of weird without a bumper, right? Because of the fact that it kind of breaks up the front. The front grille is actually matte black from the factory, right. right? But since this doesn't have a bumper and this, the front end of it is the bumper, it, it's like it has to have some kind of texture right. to, to show for. Yeah, to break, yeah, right. to break so, it up. Yes, on the Proto, it was a little dark. It was yeah. a glossy black sure. finish, but they already knew that they were going to have to bring out the detail a little more. Sure. Hence this yeah, like uh, metallic kind of looking, you know, and of course all of this is functional, right? Enough air goes in, there's parking sensors, there's a radar, right? All of it is here. But the cool thing for me, Rob, is that something like this can still exist and cra uh, pass the five mile oh, yeah. per hour, you know, oh, yeah. pedestrian, it's everything, cool. all of that. Yeah. And it's going to be really interesting to see this engine with a manual transmission, you know, because we've driven this engine in the Q50 and the Q60, but we've never been able to really grab the next gear and do all those things that, you know, we lust after, right, as, as sports car guys. So it's going to be pretty interesting. And, I love the blue. I mean, I loved the yellow, but I, we saw so much of the Proto, and then seeing this blue on Tuesday was just, ah. So for those of you guys watching, this car, this particular car, is the actual car that we photographed uh, for the launch. And so I actually had to take my shoes off. I got in the back hatch, and I shot all the interior shots from inside. They removed the headrests to do that. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm well acquainted with this particular car yeah. because of that. And we spent so, some time yeah, after this, midnight. Yeah, exactly. We spent a after lot of time. Midnight. So when, when we did the Times Square shoot, we had this, you know, we shot from around 11.30 to 3.30 a.m. It was amazing. Yeah. And it just, the excitement of seeing people off the street that were just walking by, right? You, just, you got a hot dog, it's the middle of the night, it's a Tuesday, and you're like, is that the new Z? Yes, it is. Okay. So the, we, we, hi Jonathan. Hey, how are you? We picked five cars. Okay. This is the fifth car. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you for choosing. Yeah, we could have, of course, of course, we had to choose this car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so talk to me, bud. I mean, what kind do you of think? leaves you speechless. I mean, it feels, uh, feels really, really engaging to the driver. Doesn't forget about the passenger. You know, sometimes they do too much on this side of the cockpit and they forget about what else is going on, but your seat is awesome. My seat feels good. I love where you sit. Feels like a Z car. You know, you've got your shoulder right there at that Z car heights. I love it. So it, It's kind of interesting how particular they were about highlighting certain things. Uh, like, for example, the, the, the gauge pods. I love it, yeah. It's, it's a very very Z thing, right? It kind of gives you that like, I well, guess, fighter jet feel. It does, feel. yeah. But, but the actual gauges themselves are interesting, right? Yeah. So you got PS, uh, PSI. Correct. You, right? you got how much boost you're making. Right. You have turbo RPM. Yeah, the speed of the what, turbo what charger. What is that? That is so cool that, that they put that in there. What is, I mean. And so they're going to be able to see how many RPMs that uh, wheel is turning in, this, in, the, in the turbo charger. Yeah. I mean, I really like the seating position and I like the visibility. You know, like it, it actually surprised me that you can actually remove these headrests. It actually looks 
like a one piece, yeah. you know, but they are adjustable. There's just so many little nuances and so many things, you know, as a photographer um, that I notice, like, uh, for example, this line extends for no reason other than for it to look pretty. Yes. You know what I mean? No. Uh, it's really nice. And the displays, when the displays were on, that's just really, really yeah. nice stuff. So while generally speaking, I'm not a big fan of electronic gauges, I do like the fact that it has an analog look to it yes. when you turn it on, right? So it's one thing for it to look like more of like the S2000 where it's something sweeping. Yeah. You know, I see a place for that, but I, I honestly, I just love seeing that needle move. Um, with that said, the steering wheel, everything, oh, steering it just looks awesome. so... It feels good. It looks Shifter so good. Shifter feels fantastic. Everything, you know, it's like with the parking brake down, I mean, it's just, it's a driver's car. I mean, look at the pedals. Like, I mean, we're ready. Let's do this. You're ready. Yeah. Yeah. I'll drive you wherever you want to go right now. If I didn't think <laughs> our goal is to get one early, make product for it, and then do what we did when the 370 and the 350 came out. Drive them hard enough to see what their weaknesses are and then build upon them. Kudos to Nissan. It's it's a world where everybody's like, oh, let's make an electric this, let's get an SUV, give it some styling, do this. They're making a sports car. You know why? Because they invented the sports car. 1969, 240Z. There you go. And that's a wrap. <laughs>